Mayo. It's Mayo. If you weren't expecting this voice to come from this space, I don't blame ya. So, I am vegan. And when I became vegan, I thought that my choices for easy and affordable vegan snacks would be pretty limited. Luckily though, I was proven wrong pretty quickly. So, we're going to look at some of my favorite cheap, easy, and easy to find vegan snacks. Let's get a rollin'. My first favorite easy to find and easy to afford vegan snack is Cheerios. <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> I noticed that the exposure randomly got really wonky and I'm like, hmm? Is the exposure changing? Or is the angle of the viewing just changing? Maybe when you hold up the white yellow box, it reflects it. Nah, it sees, oh, this is big and shiny. Yeah. And it's like, okay, screw your face. <laughs> Product placement. <laughs> okay, I think I might give you permission to just make Slide a blooper reel. <laughs> I'm just like. Make a blooper wheel where you think I'm funny. <laughs> you know, I could be more like myself. Hey guys, Cheerios. Iron. You know what else I got? Vitamin B6. 20% of your daily requirement. Yay. They taste good. I like eating them on their own, on a plate. No almond milk. Where did you move your thumb? I like to eat two cups at once. You know, it says that a serving is like one and a half cups, but who has time for like two measuring cups? Or using the same measuring cup like three times when you could just use one measuring cup two times and get like way more Cheerios. It's only a half cup more, but when you're eating, you know, like Cheerios on their own, like no milk or anything, like you're getting a jaw workout and it's pretty dope. And also, I said iron. Iron. <laughs> You know another cereal? A cereal I like? Fruity Pebbles. You know what these got in them? B12. Like, 80%. I don't think it can get B12 poisoning. I hope not. <laughs> I really like these cereals. Just like these dang Cheerios. I like to eat them without almond milk. Because they're fruit. Who puts milk in fruit? It's not the thing. <laughs> Almond milk is vegan. I know, but like it's still the concept of milk. And why do you put milk on fruit? Like, you know what they say. Cocoa pebbles. They're conceptually identical to fruity pebbles, but they're chocolate. To get the most out of fruity, to get the most out of cocoa pebbles, you gotta eat them with almond milk. Unsweetened almond milk, usually better, because they're pretty sweet. But if you only have sweetened almond milk, still great. For these, my favorite way to eat them, one serving is one cup. That is not enough cocoa pebbles. So I take two cups of cocoa pebbles and I put two cups or thereabouts of almond milk and it's dope. But if you're on a car trip, you ain't got no almond milk. So again, you can eat them dry by themselves. Next. You know 
how everyone says that like potato chips are bad for you. They're right. But these and most plain potato chips are gonna try and get you a good look despite the ring light. They're vegan and they're good. This is a nice little 160 calorie packet of crisps. Or if you're like me, potato chips. Get it? Because I'm American. You can tell I'm American. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> As you can see from the packaging, they are yummy and crispy. Sometimes packaging lies. Not this time. They contain salt and soybean oil, and you know what you need to live? Fat. Fat is good for your brain. That reminds me of something funny. <laughs> Don't forget amino acids. Yeah. Oh, and you thought that potato chips were unhealthy? Unfrosted Pop-Tarts. Ironically, one thing about Pop-Tarts makes them non-vegetarian. The frosting. Pop-Tart frosting has gelatin. I love Frosted Pop-Tarts, and I wish I could have Frosted Pop-Tarts. I would make a joke about cow hooves, but apparently modern gelatin is being made from tilapia. Did you not think that the way it ran hot water and has your own icing and flavor was... <laughs> I love Pop-Tarts because they are so unhealthy and delicious. And if you live your life eating only healthy things, no matter how delicious they are, you're gonna feel sad. These are flaky, buttery, without butter, because they are vegan, and sugary. Like, you know, I'm sure there are plenty of people who could eat a Pop-Tart and only feel sadness. I'm not one of them, and maybe when you know that these are vegan, specifically unfrosted Pop-Tarts, you will feel happy when you eat them too. Seriously, when you're not vegan, Pop-Tarts kind of suck. But when they're your only option, they're amazing. And finally, this is an item that you can just go to any old store and buy, but it's the concept of an item. Chocolate. Chocolate is 100% vegan. It's the coffee that the cats poop out. Had a feeling you wouldn't get that <laughs> reference. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so there is coffee from some place in South or Central America where part of the process of kind of fermenting the beans to make the best coffee possible includes a specific endangered jungle cat eating the beans and then pooping them out. That is coffee, not chocolate. There is a conspiracy, I'm telling you, where they just decide, hey, we can't make this vegan. Everything needs animal suffering in it. Do you know why you can't go and buy a dark chocolate Reese's peanut butter cups with no milk in it, even though logistically dark chocolate shouldn't have milk in it? Conspiracy. What? <laughs> I told you. <laughs> but this in specific 
If you can find this, buy it. It's allergen-free semi-sweet morsels from Nestle Toll House. I know we should boycott them, but I'm vegan and I need to eat. <laughs> Chocolate is delicious. Chocolate makes everyone happy. Do you know anyone who makes this? Do you know? I'm happy for you. I can't have it. I only want white chocolate. The same about But they make that. I was oh, yeah. free white chocolate. Do you like white chocolate? Do you like dark chocolate? Semi sweet chocolate? Yeah. You can't. These are hard to find. They're kind of hard to find. But almost any baking chocolate that doesn't like, you know, have milk in the name should be vegan. Just make sure to check all the ingredient labels and you should be good. I really like Baker's Bar um, because I like to bite it and shave it off with my teeth because it is not good eating chocolate. It is for baking, but I am literally not picky. This Nestle Toll House allergen free stuff. It's more like eating chocolate than baking chocolate. <laughs> and that is about it. Yay! Do you only have a Dollar General in your area? Do you not have much money? Don't think that vegans can only eat grass from the yard. They can eat junk food too. Yay! Like, comment, subscribe, and tell your friends to watch. Bye!